Welcome back guys and we have another exciting War and Order video for you guys today. If you guys remember one of my previous War and Order videos, I did a video covering the Castle Wars aspect of War and Order and the Castle Wars is a blast. I've continued to play it and progress through, but as I've continued to play and grow and evolve, I have unlocked more features within War and Order and one of those new features that I have got is called Infinite Wars. Infinite Wars is basically a Castle Wars version on steroids and guys it is a freaking blast, but there's a lot more to it and so we're going to cover it all in this video. If you guys are interested in downloading and playing War and Order, the download links to the game are going to be in the description of the video, as well as all of the official social media pages for War and Order. And thank you to the team over at War and Order for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome back guys. So we are in Infinite Wars here in War in Order and let's just have a broad breakdown of what Infinite Wars is. And like I said in the intro of the video, Infinite Wars is basically a Castle Wars version of the game but but on steroids and it's it's a lot of fun. I genuinely enjoy it. It's awesome. So I want to break it down and go a little bit more in depth in this video for you guys and kind of explain what exactly Infinite Wars is and also show you guys a little bit of actual like combat footage. So in a nutshell, Infinite Wars is a day daily slash weekly event every single day you're going to get one opportunity or one new challenge available to you for free and through that challenge you're going to accumulate points and those points are going to be where you rank on the leaderboards for that day in that week you can purchase additional challenges in addition to the one free one you're going to get every day uh, you can purchase up to six of those challenges every single week. They are going to cost you gems, though, so you're going to kind of have to weigh, you know, how, how good you're performing comparatively uh, to the diamonds you've got and the rewards that you think you can get based on your rankings. The total number of points you get, though, in Infinite Wars is going to determine the total number of Courage Coins that you get. Courage Coins are a form of currency that you can spend in the shop here in Infinite Wars, and you can buy some pretty lucrative items. So let's jump into the actual shop and let's take a look at the items that are available right now just so you guys kind of have an idea on what you can purchase so you guys can see here we are in the courage store now i have currently i've only done one of these infinite war attacks this week and i have got 1381 of these courage coins you guys can see the uh, exchange store will refresh in just a little over two days and these are the items that are available to me right now you guys can see we've got recruitment speed we've got some some resources here and then as you guys go down the list you're going to see that there are some items that that are available for purchase but that are not available for purchase for me just yet because it's based on your castle level so as you start to level up your castle you're also going to unlock more and more items in this exchange store through the infinite wars aspect and really these rewards are fantastic guys a lot of these are really really helpful rewards or items that you can buy so it's definitely worth your time i mean at the very least to do your one free infinite wars challenge per day i mean and that's very very uh, that's the very minimal you need to do and you're going to yield a pretty decent return doing that and then here you guys can see the breakdown or the leaderboards for the current total weekly points ranking you guys can see this guy's got in number one the number one spot he's got 30 a little over thirty six thousand points and then you guys can see the rewards breakdown based on where you actually rank so if he holds the rank one spot he's going to get a lord xp card courage coins 1200 of them to be exact and then uh, march speed of 25 percent and then you guys can see the previous uh the previous rankings as well so queen here in aod finished with a total of 35,000 points in the previous ranking so she ended up in first place and then again you guys can see kind of the updated rankings for the current spots now there's another really cool aspect to infinite wars here that i want to go into and you guys are going to see in the bottom left of the screen the combat center let's jump into the combat center and let's talk about what that is because that is going to be very important for you guys in the actual infinite wars event all right guys so we are in the combat center now and you guys can see this is where you can come in and basically buy for a lack of a better word boosts or buffs for your 
uh, Infinite Wars Challenge. So you guys can see, and this is obviously you can refresh this, and this refreshes on its own. Um, this is the shop, and then you have the depot, which are the items you have purchased, and you guys can see you can purchase them for gems, but you guys get resources uh, to start out with. You guys get resource rate, which is going to increase the amount of resources that you're going to get per kill in Infinite Wars, increase the damage of certain buildings. You guys can see the rewards value boost. This is going to uh, give you better reward options after each wave, so there's a host of things that you can buy in the combat center here. And like I said, it refreshes every single day. So the items are gonna be somewhat different, but they're all super, super helpful and valuable. Before we jump into Infinite Wars and actually show you guys some of the combat footage and how it all works, uh, something I wanna note here, and I just wanna kinda read you guys off the description. It says, you get one free challenge attempt daily, which is what we've discussed, but you can restart the challenge during the first three waves and can also reload the challenge to continue if you quit midway. So if you get a work call, or you have to leave or whatever uh you guys will can pause the game leave come back and it'll just basically save your spot or save exactly where you're at at that time of you leaving and then you can essentially pick right back up where you left off which is super nice obviously life happens sometimes and again this you've got a lot of lucrative rewards here on the line so you don't want to just lose them because you get a call or something happens or whatever so it's nice that they kind of give you a uh, saving spot so that way, if something does happen, you guys can come back and just pick right back up. So now that we have covered Infinite Wars and all of the details and intricacies of Infinite Wars, let's start up a new challenge and kind of show you guys some combat footage and, and let you guys in on some of the fun. Something cool, though, or something to note, though, is when you guys go to click on new challenge before you just jump right in, going back to the whole combat center where we could purchase those buffs, before you start your challenge, you're going to be able to see all of the buffs that you've got, and then you guys can select one of each of these colored items, essentially. Uh, the, the colors represent the different or the higher tier or higher quality items. So obviously, orange here is going to be the highest level, purple, uh, next highest, blue, and then green is gonna be the lowest. So you guys can select a green item, a blue item, a purple item, and then a orange item if you've got all of them, of course. And if you don't, you can just select whatever ones you do have, and those buffs will be applied to you at the very start of your Infinite Wars challenge. So. Seeing that we only have one orange buff item, we're obviously going to go ahead and apply that one. So we have got a 30% damage increase, raises the damage of all defense towers by 30%. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We've applied that. This is a tough one here. So we've got two purple items currently in our inventory. And seeing as I'm still newer to War and Order, I don't know which one is technically better to pick. I can either pick one that gives me an additional 1,200 points to start out with to upgrade my buildings or I can choose the one that's going to raise the number of points I earn per kill by 12%. For the sake of this one, and this may be the wrong choice, if you guys are experienced in War and Order and I made the wrong choice here, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm still learning too, but I'm gonna go ahead and select the increase per kill one. And then now I've got three blue options to choose from. The first one here is better reward options after each wave, raise the damage of spell towers by 20%, or raise the damage of crossbow towers by 20%. Again, I don't know which one's the better one, but I'm kind of drawn to the better reward options after each wave. So I think that's the one I'm going to go with and we're going to see if it's a good choice or not. And I don't have any green ones, so we're not even going to have to worry about that right now. All right, so we've got our buff effects in place now. Let's go ahead and start our challenge. We are getting ready to start our Infinite Wars challenge. A quick little tip I want to give you guys. As soon as you jump into Infinite Wars, and this is also the case in Castle Wars 2, the timer for the first wave to start is going to start immediately. As soon as you load up your challenge, it's going to start immediately. So make sure that when you guys jump in, you guys hit this pause button right away. This is going to give you the ability you can still move around the map you can still place buildings you can do whatever you need to do but hit the pause button to give yourself time to get your structures and everything set up the way you want them and so that way you're not in a rush and and make the wrong choice make the wrong move pick, get your strategy in place and then reignite the play button and then you're good and then also one more little tidbit of information or tip this button right underneath the play button if you guys will click on that it will show you guys the overview 
of all of your buildings and the buffs that are in place for those buildings as well. So I'm going to take some time. I'm going to get all of my defense set up here, and then we're going to jump in and take a look at the actual battle taking place. All right, guys, we've got our defensive set up here. This is as much as I could do with the points that I had available to me. Hopefully we're able to survive long enough to where we can start to expand and upgrade. This is my castle. This is what I'm going to be defending. We are going to get this kicked off. I'm going to turn the face cam off so you guys can just watch the battle take place. I've got a little music on for you guys and keep an eye on this up here. This is going to be the points total we have got from this Infinite Wars challenge. yourself they getting buried that's what the devil used to love playing those games made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain i made a promise to a swear that i would change I'm on the come up bed, I live up All right, guys, there it is. I finally made it through the Infinite Wars. I died on stage seven. I got a total of 8,798 points. That earned me 1,758 coins. Currently on this week's leaderboard, I am ranked 565th, if that tells you how good some of these people are infinite war so this is a lot of fun i've currently accumulated uh just a little over three thousand in courage coins so we're going to be able to get some lucrative items with that that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i like i said i'm having a blast on war and order that infinite wars was just kind of icing on the cake if you will it was just another aspect of the game that i've started to really really enjoy like i said at the beginning of the video if you guys are interested in playing war and order the download link to the game is going to be in the description of the video and then all also, all of the official War and Order social media links are going to be in the description of this video as well. Thanks to the team over at War and Order for sponsoring today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.